Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dungeon Beneath. We're going to be heading once more, trying to reconquer New Game Plus 5. Uh, I've only beaten it once after all, and so far the results have not been great. But hoping to unlock the new legendary difficulty, play with new characters, all that good stuff. What we got? We got Elder Grix with a distiller. When a poisoned character dies, restore one health to a non-heroic damaged ally, and when an ally dies, attack. Kind of an interesting combination. And the bad Tazgun. Still not a fan of them. Uh hmm. This is a weird one. So you're you want poison and health restore, but you also want allies to die. It feels like a weird combination. Let's head in with the mysterious figure once more. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. So we're fighting Nazanoth, the Shadow One, okay. So we can't be relying on Dooms or anything. Uh, we got Tezgin with the Essence Distiller again. And we got an Armor Smith, which is actually pretty solid. And we got a Holy Distiller summoning a Holy Wisp, okay. Rogue Butcher, Hair Respects, Blood Leech, Elemancer, and the Fencing Master. I think we live without those. So we got a bit of a heal theme, we got a bit of an armor theme. We'll figure out what to do with all that. Uh, still afraid of this one. I don't know who's supposed to get this. Some sort of fighting hero, I guess. It's like really powerful, but... It's just tough. It's, it's tough to do something with this that isn't... That isn't going to kill you, so... I, mean, I suppose you can buy healing campfires and such, and like sort of make it work, but I'm gonna keep saving this for now. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's go for the character. I we do. We got an enchanter giving allies or allied mages power. All right, well, they have a lot of health thanks to being high level, so that's at least something. We got the rat as usual. Gonna max out damage on it. We don't have any hard hitting characters, so I suppose this will have to do. Yep. The armor can land badly, but there's not much we can do about it, so. Alright, uh, let's have the Wisp tank that hit, probably. And then we'll just kill the Watcher here. Alright, nice and easy. Gold, head to the fire, and see if we can't pick up. We got lots of possible synergies between buffing mages, buffing armor, and healing, so. Doom Restore Health, Inexhaustible, Counter Attacks, okay, but it's back only. And then Scheme Guy. I mean, this guy would hit really hard, especially with the Enchanter here. It's like pretty tempting. The counter part of it's not super relevant, usually, but yeah, let's do it. And then I could buy like Hypogean or something, but I think I'll save and just head for next fire probably. Eh, maybe it's worth it. The scheme part's not super helpful, so it's mostly just a 4-1 instead of a 2-1, which is a big upgrade. Don't get me wrong, it's a big deal. Eh, I think I'll run with this for now. Dungeon boss Ezeel has plus one attack for each summoned... For each allied skeleton, some bone pile, extra one by default. Okay, so there's one bone pile that's going to be a little tough to get to. Do a hard attack counter. I could 
let this guy be down here so that he can, when this thing transforms, he can counter attack it. It's not like insane. And then, let's see, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Although, no, because now it hit the barrel for three. Actually, this makes some amount of sense. All right, let's try this. I do want my armor to land in the right place. And this allows me to summon the doodad as well. We sort of nice, because that'll clear the barrel out, and then this guy can do his thing. Uh, okay, let's go. Pretty simple. level up. Probably the armor smith ends up being better in the end. Summon a blood wisp. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't really need a second summon thing, but I suppose I'll take it over not having it. Destroy the treasure chest. Oof. I don't know how doable that is. Well, maybe. A lot of slimes that are gonna get summoned, but if I can deal with all that crap, then I can just tank do damage every turn, right? It's not like this guy moves or anything, so if I just keep him in the center, it's fine. Well, this slime is a bit tricky to get to, I suppose. Could do something like this, but then this isn't dying for a little while, like ever really. So I guess this is in the front. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna get that for Wisp. I guess you need to make sure this dies right away, so we'll have you tank for a little bit, and then we'll figure it out after that. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if I'll be able to kill this chest or not. That'll clear this ooze. You're about to hit really hard. You hit for one, and you have one health as well. Okay, so you want to go here. This will just die, so I don't have to worry about that. So I just want to max out damage on the chest. The problem is this guy still exists. I think this is how we do it for now. Oh, this guy's not exhaustible. That's really good. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so this turn we should kill the chest. Let's see, attack order. One, two, three. So you're going to hit there. You guys are going to do your thing. Yes. Should be fine. We will end up killing every single slime, which is sort of funny. Did I go before the slime? I do, so let's go. A bit of a tough objective, but we got through it. Gold, XP, and now the question is do you go for this campfire or not? I guess with 10 bucks, it's probably worth giving it a shot. 
because the bonfires make you skip some important stuff. Ooh, this guy gains double power. That could be fun. This one heals. I mean, I end up with a pretty squishy squad is the only issue here, right? I have the Wrath Conduit and the Mage of the Sun. Um, and they're getting both by Enchanter, which is great, but they're at two health each, so... I'll kill stuff pretty quickly. It's going to be a little tricky. I guess I have to, like, summons to sort of tank a bit. I think I'm going to try it. It won't work long term, but it will work for now, I think. I can have this guy do a little tanking. I can have the summons do a little tanking. It should be fine. All right, this boss has been kicking my butt lately, so let's try the uh, goblin instead. That summoning goblin. Oh, it's a little awkward. Uh, all right, let's see. So we got some bats. We do attack for two. Fortunately, the bats go first. That's all right. Summons one at the end of the turn. This looks about right. I'll get through the barrel pretty quickly. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This'll kill that bat, and then we're good shit from there. Let's go. Damage down here, of course, quite wasted, but what can you do? Maybe I should have switched these two, although I need the counter move for the barrel. Oh, well, I just get through the urn anyway. Also an option. Oh, sorry, blood ooze. Tried my best there, bro. All right. I mean, I guess I'll finish leveling. Just I would really like to level maybe that guy as well. That seems like a good synergy, probably the one we're going to keep around over the Wrath Conduit. But having this guy be a little bit tougher is nice. Let's go for the item. Fight our health. Okay, probably just this guy, make him really strong. So that he can tank without the Armorsmith necessarily being behind him. Seems somewhat relevant. In armor and move, take the boss damage, thanks for the okay. So, this is just going to be an annoying battle more than anything else. Because with the armor smith, I can't gain enough armor to just survive this over and over. I'll just have to keep swapping positions a lot. So, that seems fine. Oh, they also summoned a bone pile. I guess I missed that a little bit. At least that one will die to this, which is nice. Alright, so we swap, we swap, we go. He's not going to attack for a bit. Unfortunate, but not relevant, so that's fine. Nice. So now we can do this. Move him out of the way. I mean, this is colossally wasted damage, which sucks, but. Okay. 
can't get through these barrels. Oh wait, I'm not gonna kill the bone pile. Whoops. Bit of a mistake there. I don't think it's going to cost me hugely, but it's going to cost me a little bit. As I end up having to do something along these lines and killing this with this. So my blood wisp is going to die here. Hmm, it's awkward. Can't really save it, so fine. have to switch things up here a little bit because um. all right so what i'm not realizing is i should maybe have ah, a spec only because hmm. if i give this armor every turn i can move it around and it'd be simpler to get things done anyways bone piling die i guess i could do this for a round like the bone pile dies this guy just get to do some damage. That's useful. Alright, let's go. Okay. It did put the armor on my champion, which is less than ideal, but not the end of the world. Let's go. I think I can let the skeleton spawn. Just try to kill the ooze here. Seems fine. There's a bone pile slightly in the way. But this guy's gonna hit for enough, so it just doesn't matter. There we go. Took a while, but we got there. Sometimes these armor smith uh, situations can be up. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and level this fella up. Seems like a synergy we want to maybe keep around. Maybe a high DPSer for us. Alright, what do we got? One health glove, human. This could be nice. Make one of these guys a little tougher. Can be poison for health. I don't need more health on my fighters right now. I think I'm going to take the chainmail and put it on like the wrath conduit so I can maybe take some attacks and counter a little bit. And the question is should I refresh and try to buy something for eight? I think that's worth it. Okay, one attack isn't bad. Ground end, deal one. Four armor at the start, two health for a fighter. Lots of interesting things. Stuff on Wrath Conduit would be good later, but it's not really great now. I could put on this guy, it'd be fine. I could just take the Necrotic Wand. Like, it's extra damage, right? It seems fine. Our hero's got the slots, so why not? Helps you eliminate random bone piles and things. Or slimes. All useful. Alright, so this guy hits for three changes lanes. Cool. These have three each, which is oof. I guess it's okay if I hit them all for two, then the blood thing will kick in and do something useful. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, so... In that case, let's go... I don't know, here. I'm not sure it matters that much. Okay, these 
These are just regular slime. So everything's gonna die to the Void Wisp. You're taking the boss hit, which is fine. And then we're just dealing damage. That all seems great. fast. Well, I guess we'll kill them. That means it can't take a boss hit, which sort of things, but we'll hit the boss hard enough without it. It's fine. Alright, it counters twice. Yeah. It's just all over. For some reason, I forgot counter can be triggered multiple times. So. Pretty cool. Alright, definitely give you some XP. Uh, yep, seems fine. Take. I don't need this health, right? Yeah, I don't need the health, so let's sell that. Grab our gold, and let's see. Battle start, poison two enemies, gain three gold when you visit a campfire or bonfire, items cost one less gold. This seems pretty decent. This is at least six gold. Possibly nine. I think that's worth pursuing. All right. Let's see if we can not lose to the very first fight in the uh, second realm here. Alright, we got the potions. XP, transform a mage into a statue, transform a fighter into a multi-class. Man, why is it always the fighter ones? Like, if I could multi-class this guy, give him a bunch of extra health, that would be sweet, but... I don't think transforming a fighter helps me a ton. Transforming the armorsmith has, like some appeal because they often end up being in the back anyway. I guess it would give them power as well from the enchanter. So if I'm trying to keep that s going, eh, all right. I guess I've changed my mind. I don't think I want a Midas potion. I could do it on the Wrath Conduit, but... Because I'm likely to sell him anyway. So for 10 gold at campfires? Oof, that is a lot of gold. This is a net plus 8 gold. I think it's worth it. Am I going to be able to beat this thing with a random statue? My damage will go down a reasonable amount, but... You know, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? All right. Jeez, I forgot how mean this fight is. All right, all right. At least I have some extra health on the Mage of the Sun. And they attack for three by default, which is really cool. This guy's poisonous and changes lanes. Not a big deal. The statue can obviously take some hits. I should probably put it in the front, actually. So this guy's getting poisoned, fine. Not a big deal. And if we deal four damage here, I'll actually kill that at the end of the round. So it's actually slight overkill. I should actually put this elsewhere because this is going to deal three. Then my Wisp guy is going to deal one. And then my uh, end of round thing is going to deal... Well, my end of round thing could hit an urn, I guess. Just the attack order. But this goes first. It's maybe okay. Hmm. I'll try it. Oh, I forgot he moves as well. Well, that worked out nicely. Alright. Sink's still a mage, technically. So it gets power. It's funny. Um. Okay, so this is going to explode, killing the headless. That's useful. Let's see, attack order. You 
way at the end. Okay, so you're going to take the hit. That's probably fine. You're going to waste your hit on the urn. Can't really do anything about that. You guys are going to deal three. Should probably just move back here and start getting damage on the boss. Try and kill him with the Mage of the Sun over the next like turn or two. Seems, seems right. Yeah, now he's just dead to the Mage of the Sun. Perfect. Let's go. Got through that one. Pretty cool. Pick up gold and XP on. This is a tricky one. I think this guy already invested in multi-classing him. And obviously we have to hit the campfire and sell our statue here. We'll also get gold from the fiddle. So this is, this is going to be a lot of money. All right. Let's sell you. We're up to 20 bucks. It's really nice. So we're looking for mages, possibly. A second tank wouldn't be bad. Uh, maybe something that synergizes with armor. Let's see what we got. You gain a shield when you kill a thing. You're a fighter. You are a mage. Round and summon a spectral hammer. Back only. Four health is pretty decent. I don't know what the Spectral Hammer does, but he summons one every turn, so at the very least it's some sort of tank. And I only summoned the game too. I haven't tried this guy yet, and it's a mage. It fits reasonably well with what I'm doing, so let's give it a shot. So that way this guy's buffing everyone, which is pretty cool. And we'll just hope the hammer can do a little bit of tanking for us. A greater spectral hammer. It'd be nice if the tooltips like told you a little bit about some of the less obvious abilities, like this one. There's so the guy that like transforms when he dies. I still have no idea what he does. So be nice to uh, find that sort of thing out. But yeah, let's give it a shot and go fight. It's like counter guy, and this is heal guy or something. Uh, sure, let's fight the mummy. Oh, this is the paralyzing one. That's actually kind of obnoxious. Changes lanes in the round. Oh, this lane's getting here for four damage. This lane's getting here for two. So I guess who wants to get paralyzed is the real question. Mage of the Sun's sort of all my damage. This guy, I need him to summon the hammer so he can't get paralyzed. I could get this paralyzed, but then this guy's going to move. Also, I kind of need him to be up here so that he can take the uh the big damage so i guess i'm gonna get you paralyzed for a round also i am now realizing that depending on the order i might not get my hammer on the first round which would be bad you are gonna have to move out of the way let's see that's gonna die i don't have any bonus objectives so just focusing on this makes some amount of sense all right let's see how this goes Pretty scary fight. Prowl's slowly becoming a bud. Yeah, I don't get my hammer. That's not great. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? They just tripled up over here? Okay, sure. Um, I mean, he has seven, so he can technically survive that, I guess. Sure. Um, you're gonna die. That's okay. I think this is the play. Wow, it's uh, pretty nasty. I just do nothing this entire round. Cool. So let's deal with this hammer. Packs for two. 
It's inexhaustible. Oh, it kills itself. I see. It is, in fact, not a good tank. That's awkward. I sort of need a tank, and it can't do that. So it just hits for two every turn at seven speed. I mean, it's kind of neat. It's too bad it's not going to help me here, but it is neat. Alright, you're gonna kill this, which I suppose is something. Um, okay, I might do this? Is this too wild? You get no attacks in, I suppose. But, and this guy gets hit and paralyzed. Oh, so I do a lot less damage that way. Man, this fight stinks. I guess we just let the cleric die here. Oh, I... Okay. I miscalculated a bit there. Okay. It's not great, mind you, but it's gonna have to be okay. Can I just go to one? Yep. This is an ugly fight. Probably gonna have to go to another campfire and replace that dwarf, because that does not work with this squad at all. So, let's see, you're hitting for five, that's decent. You're gonna need to go up there. I guess you don't have to go up there, you can stay down here if you want. I guess we just do this and try to kill this guy. extra power, but it's fine. I should still be okay here. What an ugly fight. Alright. Uh, sure. I guess since I'm already working on you. Ooh, this is tough. I kind of want to go to the merchant and, you know, spend my 19 gold, but I feel like this cleric ended up being a really huge dud, so I think I have to go to the bonfire. And this gives me extra gold, so there's some incentive to go here. What are you? Hope gives an ally plus one power. X for three, has three health. That isn't bad. I have a little bit of hope going. Not so much. When dwarf takes damage, gain one power, gain one armor for each dwarf. Give all allied mages in the column plus one or plus two power, excuse me. So I could really try to make this mage of the sun go off. It's kind of interesting. Uh armor up everybody has bonus attack will bear armor. I mean, this guy's always a really solid tank, especially with Armor Smith. So there's some consider consideration to that. This is a really interesting one. Hmm. So this guy's giving me two power at the moment. So the Arcane Archer would give huge power gains, which is kind of cool. But it means I have no front line, really. I just have the Enchanter. The Enchanter with the Armorsmith behind it, and then these guys have to... Or excuse me, these two guys have to survive somehow. Plus the Archer itself doesn't hit very hard, so it's really just about buffing the Mage of the Sun, mostly. I think I have to take the Armored Knight. Try to go for some synergy with that. I might go for a big retool at the level 3 fire, keep this, and maybe dump some of these guys somehow. It's going to be interesting to try and figure out. So, I mean, I could, I could look for a replacement for the enchanter now. 
then the Mage of the Sun gets a lot worse as well. So it's like a whole thing. Like, I could even think the Royal Captain. Just switch it up to into some sort of armor build. But I think this is going to be good enough to get me through this chapter, and then I can look for level 3 characters and really go off. So let's try that. Um, fight this eye thing. Kill the Wisp as a bonus. Oh, jeez. It's plus one attack for each ally. It's terrifying. These things all hit really hard. Oh, boy. This Wisp is just, like, mostly in the way. Okay, these things only have one, so that's good. They will attack first, and they just target a random nearby enemy. Let's see. If I put you in the middle, you hit for three, you hit for four, and then I would kill at the end of the round, but not before the queen attacks. Really, this is the stuff that wants to be in the middle, so that they can... Uh, so that he can take the big hits, starting soon. Then this thing is only going to take two damage. But then the following turn should take more. Am I gonna die, am I? No, I shouldn't die. It's not great, but I shouldn't die. Yeah, I think this is right. The only question is do I put this with this guy or this guy? Both get hit for a bunch. I think this makes slightly more sense. Okay. die. I'm going to swap these two. Uh, you're going to kill. That's actually pretty cool. So, let's see. This will die towards the end of the round, so you're going to take another bit of damage. You're going to explode this thing. These guys are just hitting the boss. Uh, so the eyes will actually, so this is going to be replaced by three orbs, but this will die, this will die, so there'll be one, two, three, four, so, so this will attack for five, all right, I'll survive, I guess. I guess one of the eyes could have spawned up here, that would have been good. I guess eliminating that's sort of nice. So let's see. Two, so I'm not killing this yet, which is actually good. Uh, these are going to get killed. So this will only attack for like two, which is pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I forgot that's going to die. So I s I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I'm not okay by a lot. But I am okay. Wait, am I okay? Oh, I might not be okay. Okay, that was lucky spawns. Should have uh, shuffled my stuff around to guarantee that kill, but... Worked out, so I guess I'll take it. And at this point, yeah, let's finish leveling you. Cool. All right, done with campfires for a little bit. Although, actually, I should have gone to campfire. Never mind. That was that was foolish. Because this is just going to give me like a few gold, which the campfire would have done with the fiddle anyway.
So just going to the campfire is free gold. Would have been better, but oh well. Um, so we got this and this. This guy summons a bunch of orbs, which I'm like okay at killing, I guess. Is it scary if they start with a bunch of armor, though? Or if he has an extra attack? I mean, probably both of those are scary. Probably. I'm going to take the armor, though. We'll see. I have so much money. I need to get to a vendor. Or I just die here. It's next for four. Okay. I'm not even going to kill one of these on that row. That's bad. Uh, so maximum taking on him is seven, which would be bad. It's not super likely, but it's not actually that impossible either. I'm going to kill one eye this round, and then he's going to summon more eyes. Although I think my thing gets in before his thing, if I remember right, which means they're going to clear it out next round. So things should get a lot easier. Oh wait, I can do more damage than that, I just realized. Oh, I'm just dead. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Wait, this thing gain armor? Okay, I guess this is how we're doing it now. I mean, this will clear a bunch of stuff out for me, so I, I might still be okay. I guess I'll let this ride. Might have to reset the fuck. <laughs> Cause these are sort of annoying here. Yeah, they kind of spawned awkwardly too. So now this is quite likely to die. I could swap these two. Seems okay. And it's thick, it's like pretty annoying, honestly. I'm sure, kill that. Ouch. Yeah, I guess it's just end up dying anyway. Oof. This guy's gonna take six, but I'm hitting the boss hard at least. Okay, so we should be good from here. Man, what a rough battle. I do actually make it out of here to the level 3 fires. Oh, looks like we don't get a vendor. For now, at least. Uh, I guess I'll level you. Don't know if I'm keeping you long term, but there we are. Uh, I mean, that's really good. It's going to make him hit a lot harder, but is this going to be enough? We'll see. Skipping that vendor is really coming back to bite me here. Hopefully there's one soon. Deal two to the target tile, and let's get counters for damage. Right. Counter's not so bad. Two, so they're gonna kill a bat. That's useful. These lanes are taking three each, which kinda sucks. 
This guy can take a bit more punishment. Let's try to focus down here, I think. This is gonna die at least, so that's useful. He's gonna counter ones. He's gonna counter three times and hit me. I'm still okay, but not by a lot. Oh boy. Um, okay, you obviously have to move. It's just not a, up for negotiation. And then these are just both gonna die. There's nothing I can do to save them. If I swap them, there's a chance I get the heal off before it explodes, so I guess that's nice. Um, let's see, my end of round is going to kill the other bat, which is also helpful. If this guy gets a turn, he'll just kill this next turn, so I guess I don't need to attack it, so we'll just do this for now. Like I don't get that before the round. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's a good spot for that. We are still in a wee bit of trouble. Uh, this guy will kill this, which is nice. Oh, I could also just try to kill the boss with him, huh? If I just move him now, then next round he's gonna just kill the boss. It's probably the way to go. I just don't kill these. I don't need to. Uh, I guess we'll let the enchanter die. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to actually kill this, so I'm going to move here. Yeah, the next round it just kills the boss. That seems fine. You're going to die, but that's okay. I accept that fate. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, this this goes third and kills the boss. This is gonna get replaced, but it's fine. I believe we're okay. If I screwed up, I screwed up. Finally, uh, I'm going to start leveling this guy because he seems important. I have 36 gold. I've never had this much gold. This is obscene. All right, what do we got? Four health, become poison. Two health, two speed. Follower only cloak. That's kind of fun. And the kite shield. Okay. Health and speed. Speed's sort of nice in the armored knight, so you can actually make use of that armor before it all gets knocked off. Kind of don't mind that. This guy could probably take this, though he's likely to get replaced later anyway. It's a little expensive for what it does. I am going to buy this. Just because I'm rich. Let's see what else we got. When an ally dies, deal one. Can't be poisoned. Can't be paralyzed. Plus two, minus one. I mean, the can't be poisoned ring... Uh, let's see, against the Mother of Shadows. It's actually not that important, I guess. Can't be paralyzed is sort of cute. It's mage only, though, and I like the items I have on them right now. I guess I can put on this guy. But he's, like, never getting hit, so... Doesn't seem super good. I think I'll keep refreshing for a bit. Okay, counter gain plus one attack. Hero, oh, hero only. That's not good. Archer only plus two minus three for the armorsmith seems solid. Death give allies attack. Yeah, it's just a lot of attack. He's slow now, but that's okay. 
don't want the blade. I don't want the martyr's blade. Don't think I want a buckler. I'm going to reroll one more time. Let's see what we can find here. Plus one minus two is good. Usually anyway. Gloves, this, follower cloaks. So I could put this on my champion. It is their last item. I mean, it's not like I attack twice or anything. So I don't know if that's actually good. It's not bad. It's the only person that can take the health hit. For sure. Yeah, I'll save the rest of my gold. This wasn't bad. Solid shield, solid true thing. Alright. Let's see if that was enough. I want to use dice. Okay, this guy. This guy is annoying for sure. So the usual setup is to kill the lycanthropes and ignore the alpha. This change lanes, which is a wee bit annoying. So maybe we take have this guy take the first hit, and then these guys can like focus on the lycanthropes. These guys can focus the lycanthrope, and we'll hope he moves to the right lane. He doesn't attack that hard yet either, so. It's kind of fine. Alright, let's try it like this to start. He really has to get one of those armor rings for this guy, so he starts by hitting harder. I did not realize that the alpha moved as well. Okay, it's my guy... My guy does go before this, which is cool, so... Uh, it's just one of these. Okay, yeah. So this will do its thing. This is gonna die. That's all great. This will also die. But not before it kills a thing. You're gonna hit me for two, which I don't love. But it's okay, I suppose. Yeah, I think this is correct. Could even kill this, honestly. This guy gets up to a lot of attack. We still have the armor knight armor smith combo to sort of take care of it, but it'd be easier if I didn't have to. Now it's decision time. This guy's already attacking for three, so if I kill this plus the two lycanthropes that it spawns, it's gonna attack for six. It's way too much, I think. I have to do this, even though it's pretty awkward. This guy's gonna put some damage in, though, so. Uh, I'm gonna move you. There we go. a bunch of stuff. Um, doing no damage this round. It's exciting. <clears throat> this guy is still hitting me every turn, so I do need to actually like attack at some point. Might have to flip the switch here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Could have these guys attack for eleven. <clears throat> This guy still doesn't want to hit there. This is a 29. So I am sort of running out of time here. It's the concern. Right, if I just keep moving stuff around, I have to move him again. So I'm just like not doing anything. <clears throat> if I keep them as is, I'm attacking for 11 here, putting it to 18. I obviously do need to preserve this guy, so I would do something like this. Like this. These things die, but next turn, if the Mage of the Sun can get through, it's pretty good. I can give it a shot. Hope it works. I just need one attack on the Mage of the Sun, right? There we go. He's attacking for 13, so this is fine. 
that this is a problem, actually. So I'm about to kill this guy. He gets back for five total. Uh huh. I'm not actually quite killing, which is an issue. I do this? As bizarre as this looks. I guess I can go here so that he gives him armor. There we go. That I think hit maybe, and then. Yeah, so I'll almost kill the boss. Yeah, this seems right. It's weird, but I think it's right. Because I really can't kill the alpha here. bit. That's okay, though. Um, so I have enough health to take damage from the alpha, and then I'll kill the boss before he gets to go. So, it's all good. Oh, and I guess I just go before him anyway. Alright. Sword is good. Money is good. 2xp. I suppose goes... Oh, wait, I can actually do it to this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Two extra health is pretty nice. Let's see. When your enemy kills a hero, restore two health. Uh, your hero gains doom gain of power. Interesting. Hmm. Trollblood would let me heal in the coming up fights. I have that like deal one damage to the lowest health guy, so reasonably likely to get a few kills and get my health back up. Doesn't help long term, but I actually think it might be decent here. Yeah. Right, I keep turning off camera because my cat's like freaking out to see something outside the window. So so I'm doing that. All right, what you got for me? Midas Potion, no thanks. Greater Versatility, Transformers a Mage. Okay. And Experience Potion. I don't need the Experience Potion. I want to transform this Mage of the Sun into a multi-class. doesn't really do anything. So I think we're skipping out on this particular set of potions. Three times. These guys hit for two, you hit for three. Right. They move as well, right? Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Alright. I suppose this is our starting setup. And we'll move you down here, perhaps. Let's go. Them clearing away from the Mage of the Sun is definitely useful. Uh, I guess I'm okay with how they're arranged for now. I might have to swap these later, but I might as well get that extra damage, right? Yeah, so it's fine. Let's go. Terrifying. Let's do this. We'll just let him take the damage. It's fine. It's gonna be close on this time limit here. So I'm hitting for nine this turn. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to speed this up, unfortunately, so we're not going to get the bonus done here. Things just didn't line up quite right. Uh, 
that should be fine. This guy's the fastest thing anyway. A two speed uh, shield is actually really good, I think. Ooh, a golden demon of some kind. I mean, I want the campfire, but that's interesting. Uh, sure. Might keep you around. It is a lot better since I got that item for it. But let's see what we have at the campfires here. What's this? Oh, smuggler. When you hire this, give me two. Okay, not really a thing. Not really a thing. Sort of a thing, but not really. Yeah, I don't think any of those are what I want. If I ain't getting kills for my troll blood. Wow, triple lizard folk, huh? I could just switch into lizard folk. Uh, I don't think I will, but... This one's interesting. Um, the gain a shield with the power thing, or with the enchanter, either way, really, is... Like, they can become sort of tanky. The curse is sometimes useful as well. Hmm. Like, having a shield every turn is a big deal. That's actually just a really big deal. The problem is they're two initial health. I can't too much about that. They're not human, so I can't give them the chain mail. Oh wait, the chain mail can go on anyone? No, it is human only. Okay, so yeah, I can't give them the chain mail. But I think they're good. I don't think either of these do much for me. So I'm probably going to have to replace the Mage of the Sun because I have to replace one of these two and if I replace the Gnome and give the Trinket away then the Mage of the Sun is suddenly really bad. So let's take their stuff off. I'm probably going to replace them both, I mean, realistically, but I guess it's going to go... Do you have room for it? Oh, you have room. Yeah, sure, whatever. I, although minus speed kind of sucks. They have plenty of health. Let's just do this. Um... Yeah, and then refresh here again. When you hire this character, gain two gold for every allied lizard folk. So I can sell them at full price, right? So I think that just makes me money. Oh, we got bomb guy as well. Interesting. Right, so I do this. All right. Um, I gain four, and then I immediately sell them, and I gain five. Yeah, okay, so that's just profit. Uh, Tinker also needs power for his stuff, so probably not as good as this. The bombs can be a little awkward at times. I don't think I care for wolves that much, so let's keep rolling here. Gain three power on counter, follow up, trigger all adjacent counter effects. That's a cool, cool character. I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. I have, like, these are my two tanks, right? This guy's just going to have the armor smith sitting beside him, and this guy's going to have to move around. Or this lady, perhaps. This lizard folk. Um, so what exactly am I looking for? Some sort of DPS, I guess? Or something that maybe synergizes with one of them somehow? Counter summon a raven. Okay. You kill an enemy, gain a shield. That's not really a thing. Three wall at max health, inexhaustible front only. That one's pretty hard to use. Raven guy is okay. It's again front only, which is not really what you want. Dwarf guy, I don't have any dwarves. Battle cleric is solid. Nyx of the Old Moon. Doom, curse a random enemy, inexhaustible. Front only again. I mean, cursing's cool, but it doesn't really work that well. Dooms don't work well with what I have going. I'm going to spend all my money rolling here and never get anything. Okay, Royal Captain's sort of a thing. Makes the Armored Knight better. 
When allies... Wait, what? When an ally is summoned... Oh, this restores one health. Okay, sure, that makes sense. Transforms on death. I might try this guy just to see what the heck his transformation does. It's hopefully really cool. That's that's my dream, is that it's really cool. And then, you know what? Worst case, I'll find another fire to go to. Hopefully this team's like good enough to carry you until then. This guy has a speed of zero now. It's not very high. I wonder if I should give that health to... Eh, I don't want to give it to this guy because I want him to die. Although possibly his second form will also get the extra stuff. Hmm. Sure. All right. Really wish I could give this any sort of health. But okay, let's see how this goes. Doing some experimenting still. Checking out characters I don't know much about. All right, summon radiance to move. Text for three. Not a big deal. So I could let this get hit first because I'm going to gain a bunch of health back anyway. Why not? Okay. What a weird attack enemy. So let's deal with these again. Round end, they deal five tall characters. So I do need to kill these, which I'm currently not capable of doing. So, interesting. Very interesting. I think... I think I'm gonna move him. And I'm gonna let this die and see what it transforms into. And this will take the five damage on the shield after this takes the attacks. So, actually, wait, this round ends. So I could, I, I could actually just do this, huh? I'll kill this. Right? Four. Yeah, I attacked for two, so I'll attack for six. I'll kill that. This is going to unfortunately die, but we do. Alright, let's go. Oh, I even killed it with that, yeah. Oh, so I could have killed both here, huh? Some miscalculating there. So what's his deal? Holy moly, he has 20 health. Okay, he does not keep his, uh... So, he doesn't keep equipment. Alright. Has 20 health, but only one attack. And they still restore health when allies summoned. Okay. Good to know. Not actually that useful at the end of the day. So let's move here. So these kill each other, so I should be fine to stay here. Okay, so he's probably going to have to get replaced. As he's just a giant meat shield, which is not really what I need. Oh. I didn't gain power? Or I guess the sh I gained power and then the shield got knocked off. Okay, interesting. Interesting and annoying. Um, three. Okay. I think this is the play then, somehow. Oh wait, uh, okay. Okay. Not a fantastic turn for me. Okay, 
So now you have a shield, so that's fine. Let's move you down here. As well as you. Bear is going to continue to do, not be very useful. Figure this out. Freaking bear, man. Freaking bear. Actually, yeah, I should go here so I destroy this. Let's go. Oh, hey, I finally got my Troll's Blood tick. That was not very, a very good artifact to pick, was it? Okay, we stick with the same. Not doing damage quickly, but if it's just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over, I guess I'll just stick to my strategy here. Just wish this bear was a bit better than it is. I get to kill it this round, so it's all good. Did take a while though. Alright, is this guy level 3 yet? Yeah, everybody's level 3. Okay, so. Don't need this anymore. Probably hit up the merchant. I don't see any need to transform my stuff. It's not a lot of money. So I do want to save some for the next campfire as well. Mortal Helm. Fortunately, not very good against the boss. Uh, the Titan's Ring, though, is huge. I'm for sure going to buy that one. Uh, this gives the Melodox something uh, at the start of the battle, which is nice. I don't think I care about the Titan's Wall and yeah, the Helmet. It's bad against the final boss and the dragons and the stuff that are all in the way. Don't really care about that either. So let's buy this and call it a day. There we are. And here we go. Round and paralyzed the enemy. Why was why was there a noise? Oh, I, I got a lost adventure. Oh, which healed this guy. Okay. Makes sense. Uh random paralyzed random enemy. Beast turn into stuff. A random enemy, okay. Well, let's get you guys going. Get something like this to start. I actually want to kill this terror. Okay. Eh, I guess it's fine. So that's gonna kill this. How much health these guys have? 21. Right, it's fine. They don't really move the end around, so they do stuff, okay? Uh, I mean, this looks fine for now. the wisp and it take a shield off not a big deal this is gonna die now but i can't really do anything about that i guess i could i could swap these guys around and never kill this which is probably correct there's no reason to kill this at all yeah this, this looks fine Oh. 
Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Uh, let's get you up here. And keep going here. Yeah. Die, that's fine. Okay, it's annoying paralysis there, but whatever. Should still be fine. I mean, eventually this will wake up and have a lot of power. I guess it's not going to. It's just going to curse that and get killed. All right. Very good. We protected the lost adventure. Good stuff. Pick up our cash, sell our potion, and head for the fire to replace this animist fella. We got double power gain, doesn't quite work anymore. Battle Cleric, a little bit squishy, but yeah, I guess it's not even a human or a fighter, so it's hard to increase his health. Poisonous summoned allies have plus three attack. Eh. Let's keep it rolling here. When allies summoned, give them shield. I mean. It's a cool one. Uh, not not. We could have had a really cool summon build actually. But battle start and death. Fill your board with lizard folk hatchlings. Not sure that helps me. And then scheme give two power to allied lizard folk. Eighteen gold. All right. Follow up. Poisonous. When a poison character dies, restore some health. And then this guy. I mean, Hunter's, like, fine, but, boy, it's unexciting. Follow up triggered Doom effect, scheme double power, Dwarf Guy, man. I don't know what I'm rolling for, but these ain't it. After the first and second round, summon a Poison Scale. Poison Scale. I don't know what that is, but we already have too many summons at the moment. I could sell my Blood equipment, I guess, but uh oh, flame adept. Well, not actually good against the boss. Kind of an interesting one though. It's like the first one that's sort of gotten my attention, you know. Ground and summon a greater enemy void wisp. Counter, give all your all your allies plus some power. Wow. Uh it's kind of interesting. Uh they do have to counter for it, which Means I have to keep them alive somehow. I do have they're they are a fighter. I have a lot of things that can work with that a little bit. It's all your allies. So every time it gets hit, it gives me effectively plus four damage. So it kind of attacks for five every turn. Sort of. It does need to get healed though, which I only have the holy wisp for. Uh it is interesting. Definitely interesting. Sort of works with this as far as the shield stuff as well, though I'm already doing that on my own, so it's kind of less of a big deal.
I mean, let's try it. Sure, whatever. Um, so we'll give her the reinforced buckler and the chest. Oh, she's not a human. Son of a. All right. All right. Was she an elf? Cool, I guess. Well, that makes it a touch tougher, because I do want the speed thing on that character still. Guess she'll have to be at 8 health. All right. I don't know if this is good, but it is what it is. We're going to try it. Fiddle, by the way, ended up being an awesome artifact. Really glad I picked it. Uh, we got Affliction guy. Oh yeah, this guy's really annoying. Thanks for two and then moves. And then we got a freaking rock, huh? Okay, well her taking the first hit makes sense. Because we don't want the Armored Knight taking those. Or this, really. Has to look something like this. Oof. Oh, the rock's in the way, too. It's like massively annoying. It's actually going to be quite frustrating, isn't it? I do believe it is. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, powering up my rock. Okay, as uh, Blood Wisp is doomed, I suppose. Oh, I didn't get my Healing Wisp as a result, which kind of sucks. Need this rock to die so that she can go and tank this guy while also fighting him. She can't do that. So, I guess you're taking some afflictions there, Armored Knight. Which means I shouldn't be giving you armor, but there's so awkward. This whole thing is so bloody awkward. Because I could have her take a hit. Yeah, I'm better off just doing damage. It's fine. I guess I'll move my champion up here so that it can maybe gain the armor. Sure. Not sure that helps because I can't actually use that armor in any fashion, but okay, you can take this hit, that's fine. This rock is like my doom over here. Maybe I stick up here, just try and kill this thing. That'll solve some problems for me. Could let this take a hit. But the afflictions don't matter on this. Eh, it's fine. That's gonna make me hit a bit harder. So. Okay. I don't want him getting a million afflictions. I don't know if I want this dying quite yet. I think we do this. We'll let this take two damage and have two afflictions. And we'll figure it out from there. Do no damage. Awesome. Yeah, Chris was nice. can move back now because we don't want you dying. We'll just have the rock take the damage. Yeah, this will have to do. Okay. 
I, mean, I could just let Ima die. It's not like she does anything interesting. She'll just eventually replace this rock or something. It's, it's not that big a deal. And that way I have less time on these afflictions. I could let my hero get hit if I can figure out a way to do that. Um, I could do this, curse this guy, I guess, for a round. Let my hero take the affliction hit. Seems okay. Let them kill the rock now. Get some damage in. Okay. It could take a hit. I'm at max health. This guy's pretty low though, so if I just stick with this, I'm dealing 5, 8, 14. Pretty good amount of damage actually. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just take the 2, that's fine. So now he should die to the Armored Knight, so let's go. Right, let's go. So this, go here. I do need some way to heal my uh, counter character here. Two health for Archer only, but okay. I guess I'm wearing that. Why not? Right, we got Jin guy. This should be a really free fight. You know, hero damage is extremely doable. Close the portal to okay, that's fine. You hit for a bunch, uh, but I should hit you really hard round one. Let's see. Not that hard actually. Uh three, four, nine, nine plus three is twelve. Plus two is 14, so I don't quite hit it hard enough. I guess I'll do this so that she can take a hit. Be okay ish. Oh, I do actually go after the boss in this guy, so I'm gonna get kind of hard if I do this. Just have 42. Um, so I only hit for 8, 10. So this will get it for five, that's fine. It's not that big a deal. Cause then I'll have shields and stuff going. So. Okay, uh, let's see what's happening this turn. This guy still goes to the end. But I deal slightly more damage, so 6, 11, 14. I do enough, so I guess this is fine. Swap those two. Bloodwisp got killed. Not that big a deal. We're gonna hit. Should be fine. Let's go. Okay, well, now we're just 
just have a shield, so it doesn't matter if we hit hard enough or not. Interesting. I'm actually not doing enough damage. I don't freaking know. We'll get there eventually. Oh, whoops. Okay, I might have to do some math now. Uh, 8, 12. Yeah, I'm only doing 14 a turn, so I need to actually kill this current, I guess. So... He's at 5, that's so annoying, but I have no way of increasing my damage at this point. So I think what we're going to do is put these guys in front of the urn and have this tank the boss, I guess. Yeah. Of course, the boss decides to go behind the urn. That's okay, though. I can take a hit, even if it's a fairly big one. Wait, can I actually? Because it's going to be four... So it's gonna be like nine. It's a lot, but okay. Oh, I could probably kill it with the curse, huh? But at this point, I guess it's fine. I don't know. Should kill. Just casually get hit for 11. Alright, that took more than it should have, probably. Not very good at using that, like, scheme curse thing. Like, I, I should be smarter about it than I am, basically. Alright, the merchant seems good. Some sort of region item here would be nice. Still not convinced this character is really what I needed, but we are where we are, so let's do it. What's this thing? That's what a blood wisp. Great. That's what I need is more blood wisps, let me tell you. Taxing us enemies to apply poison. That might be nice, actually. I don't have a way to apply poison yet. That is a useful ability to have. One attack on the armorsmith could also be interesting. I don't have a great place to put the chainmail, but... Let's definitely do this. Then I I can't afford a potion belt is the issue. If I see one, so well I guess that just means I won't see one. I don't know if the short bow's worth it. Let's roll a bit, see what we can find. Uh when ally dies, deal one, no. What the heck is this? After the first sound someone hatching. That's cute. We don't need more summons, so that's not what I'm gonna take, but that's cool. Um is she a fighter? She is a fighter, so I could give her a bunch of health. I don't actually care about her attacking, right? So maybe this is the way to go. All right. It's not healing, but it's the next best thing, I suppose. And yeah, we'll try it like this. Oh, the Mind Reaver attacks randomly, applies status effects, sure. And these are guys to power up right now. Okay, so that's fine. I have zero attack to begin with. Uh, obviously, I don't want you in the same line as that. All right, well, nothing for it. I think, yeah, this is this, these guys are going to do the most damage. So, sure, let's get around the center for now. I guess being poison on the boss might have been nice. Fusion's an annoying status. Oh, I have nowhere to move, actually, so it's fine. Because I go first, so yeah, that's okay. This thing's gonna 
die, but it doesn't have to. I can do this instead. There we go. Getting both these guys poisoned is certainly useful. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, might as well keep using this, right? That's kind of her entire point of existence. Sit here and become a... Uh... Wait, that counts as an attack? Interesting. Killed my blood wisp anyway, that's a thing. Uh this looks fine. Let's go for it. No, come on. Why you gotta kill my healing thing? It's not alright. Four, so I'm still okay for now. <clears throat> Just keep it rolling. Doing an alright job taking these down. More confusion kind of stinks. Okay, so you're about to get killed, which is not great. Uh, I might do this for now. Reduces a bunch of damage, though. I could not. Oh, here's an interesting idea. Uh, that doesn't work either. I guess I'll put this back here and hope this runs in front of it. Probably the best bet I've got. Actually, you have 8 health. I can... Nah, but then I miss that damage. I don't want to miss that damage. But I do want to give him shields. But I can't guarantee that. Hmm. This is all really awkward. That's what we're coming down to. I think I'm going to do this. I guess I still can't take a big hit. So maybe it wasn't even that useful. Uh, Alright. You've got a shield, so you can keep taking a hit. I guess you're gonna have to come back down. Set you up here. Alright, let's go. Wait, what? What happened to my shield? Uh-oh. Also, what? Hold on. Hold on. Something went horribly wrong that round. When was I confused? Alright. I might have to reset this one. This went poorly. Um, yeah, nobody's surviving me this. I don't have enough damage to kill. Alright. Something went badly. I don't know what happened that last round, but my shield went off and like I got confused and I don't know when all that stuff happened exactly. I think we are doing okay at the beginning. And then... I don't know exactly what the problem was, but something bad happened. It's just the same, which is fine, because I think these rounds went okay for me. Uh, yep, this looks fine. Paralysis is not great. Let's see that. 
I mean, last time this boss ended up picking off the Blood Wisp, so I'm considering just letting it die and see what happens, because I need to change the RNG up a bit. Feels a little bit cheaty face, but... Um, yeah, sure. Let's, let's just do it here. Let's see how this goes. Kill my other wisp instead. Not great. If we're being honest. Paralyzed. Sucks. What can you do? Everything else looks fine. Okay, now we're paralyzed here, which means I don't get a shield, but it's okay for this round. And you're attacking for five now, so you're going to kill her. Can't be helped, I suppose. Let's try and get this guy dead. Paralysis, huh? Let's guess it for six. <clears throat> I guess the armor smith can survive a hit, so he is simply going to have to. Giving shield to my champions doesn't actually do anything, does it? These guys are about to start hitting for seven, so having four armor on my champion just doesn't matter. just try and kill this thing. It's 13 right now. I can go and curse it and then potentially kill it next turn with a big attack. <clears throat> I have to hit it for a lot still. It's gotta be better than cursing this one though. Excuse me. Um, I curse the boss, but then I just die, so that doesn't work. Turns out random status effects are kind of a bitch. Um, I think this is the way to go. But then do I attack it this turn? Because I would just hit it for four. So I'll get to nine, eight off of that. No, I have to save that hit for post curse with like her or something. I don't quite know how I plan to do this. Did he not get cursed? Did he take double damage from the poison? That's some BS. That's what happened. Oh, and this guy's now poisoned. That's lovely. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this and this. I think I'm dead. Yeah, we're getting double damage from poison. Yikes. Oh, yeah, we're dead. All right. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. Oh wait, this guy's gonna kill this guy actually. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm not dead. Okay, hold on. So you're gonna kill that. So you attack for five, so you just kill it. Great. So this guy's gonna wreck my day. And he's gonna continue rando attacking. I guess what I do is <clears throat> something like this. 
I can give this armor every other turn, basically, because I can't let him ever attack again. So I keep moving this in front of the Hollow Champion, having shield. And then maybe eventually I unleash an attack on the Mind Reaver when I have build up enough power. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't completely over. Okay, that's sort of a problem. I'm not gonna lie, that is sort of a problem. Exist to absorb hits. I'm just doing two a turn to the boss, but then I have to get hit stored up eventually. What did it do to me? It poisoned me? Okay, that's annoying. Um, I never 10 this round. 10 is not enough, however. 10 plus 2 is 12. It's not quite good enough. Attack for 11. You attack for 1, I guess, but. Okay. Oh boy. Um. I guess I'll survive the poison, but then I'll die to the attack from the boss. So if I have him take the big hit, I would deal 12 damage to the boss, 13 with the poison. He'd be at 4, and then next turn I would just die. So that doesn't work. Which means I have to try and get lucky for another round, and then I might have enough damage. Should this guy attack or not is another interesting consideration. He attacks, I get the boss 214 this round. Uh, okay, 14 this round. Then we assume this dies. This is gonna hit for 11, 12, 13, 14, okay. Oh, but I need this alive to tank the hit from the Hollow Champion, so I can't have it attack. Alright. This is a 50-50. Okay. Okay. So now you take the hit. You guys hit him for 13, and then when it attacks, it takes damage, and then... Oh, is it still not enough? Am I still one off? Son of a gun. Um, oh, also, you're gonna kill yourself, so I need to move you back so you don't kill yourself. That's important. Um, you hit for 11. You hit for 13. Okay, yeah, yeah, so this will die. Alright. Oh, man. What a fight. Okay. Boy, that was not easy. Let's see. Uh, I definitely don't need this. I can consider whether I want to heal or not. It's only two health. The gold might matter. First time an ally dies, summon a spirit. That could be cool. We do have those summoned allies that will die, so having the spirit's not bad. Give lowest health allied mage plus one power at the end of the round. Lowest health allied mage. Okay. When a poison character dies, that doesn't really do anything. I mean, I only have the one mage. Giving them a power at the end of the round doesn't really do anything. I think I'll take the shackle. That sounds sweet. And, alright, I'll take the health. I don't know. It's honestly not an easy call. Okay, fighter, archer, two speed. 
Death Summon of Blood Wisp. Who even needs equipment? These two need equipment. So I can get another Skirmisher Shield to like this character or something. Dove Band. That doesn't really do a lot. This certainly doesn't help me. So yeah, I'll just buy this and the question is who to put it on. And just her is fine. Alright. Give me your extra speed doesn't really do anything, but it's fine. Okay, let's see if we can beat the final boss, shall we? Shadows disappear at the end of each round. Curse stack invisible. Applies afflictions. Okay. You can take afflictions, probably is fine. Uh, you can curse attacks, it doesn't matter too much. So, yeah, this looks fine for the time being. damage to all characters in this lane. Okay. That's a follow-up attack. It's kind of annoying. And this attacks three times. Okay. I mean, she's really awesome against the triple attack, so that's going to give me a bunch of power, so I really kind of want to do that. Uh, okay, obviously I need to get my champion out of here. Follow-up deals two. I mean, it's kind of crappy. Maybe I put these guys down there. Do something like this. A wee bit awkward, but I think okay. That's less fine. I would like her to start getting healed at some point. But she's still the best person to take afflictions. Yeah, like, saving up so much power here. Uh, Alright, this Blood Wisp. I mean, I'd like it if it got to attack, I guess. But it's sort of doomed at some point anyway. So, I guess that's fine. Okay. All right, I get the ghost now. That's kind of fun. X for two. Uh, triple attack and affliction attack. All right. Well, this doesn't want to tank triple attack. You want to tank triple attack. Ugh, these affliction attacks are starting to stack up a bit. I guess I'll let the Armored Knight take one of those. It's stinky, but... Take the five. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, guess you guys take the two. Yep. Looks like the plan. Summon two dark flames. Okay. Pro 
probably this. Said the shield eats the two from the follow up, this eats double damage. We have some dark thingies next round. Okay. That was nice, just killing one of those right away. Man, they need to stop spawning this unstable guy. He's, he's kind of a problem. Um, what does this thing do? Three health to attack. Wait, how do I kill it with my, like... Very confused about how this died, but alright, sure. Uh, well, you're gonna kill it, so that's fine there. First attack and stable attack is the order. This goes first. Right. I think we have to do this. Like, I really need to keep this golden wisp alive. It's sort of doing a lot of work here. Okay, five attack. Curse attack again. Okay. Well, you want to take five. That that much is obvious. I mean, you're already cursed, so why don't you get recursed? Let me do this. Okay. Not doing a lot of damage here. Confusing. Shouldn't be too big of a deal since we have a full squad. Another unstable shadow. Yeah. Stable shadows are really being a problem here. Another one, cool. The confusing guy doesn't matter. Um, I don't want my ghost dying. It's like pretty useful. I obviously can't have Armor Smith dying, so probably have to do this and just skip out on the armor for a turn. Uh, what do you do? Confusing attack. Okay, so probably something like this. Triple and confusing, okay. I have arm around this thing. It's still gonna go take the triple. You, you two gotta swap back and we'll let this thing get confused again, that's fine. But steady here. Triple and triple. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, you can certainly take a triple. I prefer you didn't, so I guess we'll do this. Using and triple again. Okay. Um, well, you can't take triples anymore because you're dying. You can take that. You're going to have to go take the triple. I guess at that point you might as well take this one. Okay. It's 
Bloating is good. Cursed. And triple again. I'm gonna have to keep moving this guy to take the triples. It's just gonna have to happen. Uh, you're gonna take the curse attack, so I'm just not doing anything again. Lovely. Stable Shadow and the Howling Shadow in the same row, and I accidentally armored up my champion, which could actually help here somehow? Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Okay, how much damage is this? So this deals two to everybody, and then it's five, so still have eight damage. I mean, I could take it on the Armored Knight, but boy, that's unpleasant. But I don't think there's a choice. This has to happen. Yeah, wasting that was really, really bad. Um, yeah, I think this is how it has to go. Just my mistake here. Yeah, this character ended up being bad. Should have picked it up. Double and stable? No. Why would you do this to me? How am I gonna survive double and stable? That's disgusting. Oh man. Alright, well this has to go eat one. I think the ghost is gonna die now, because I can't Oh jeez. It's actually It's actually really troublesome here. Um I need to keep keep the wisp alive. It's keeping me in the game. Yeah, basically neither of these two can be in the unstable rows, so uh, means I have to do it this way. This ghost does have to die, but I don't want the lightning caller to die as well. So what I have to do, I think, is something like this. This will take the hit. They're both going to go to one, which is terrifying. And then... All right. Wait, what? Oh, I was cursed, so I took four? Oh, come on. Well, it's over. That's it, it's all over. Yep, no, I just... Forgot they were cursed, and so now we're gonna lose. That's really annoying. Personally, I blame Ima here for being kind of useless, but it's, that sucked. Five triple. I mean. It's all kind of moot at this point. I'm not getting through 400 HP. This is just going to die at some point. And yeah. Write it out here. Needed my whole team for this to work. Oh good, more of these guys. At least we made it to the boss this time. So, um, re remaking some progress. Yay, we unlocked the thing. That's plus one attack for every four gold. Starts at zero. Huh. Interesting. Could be powerful, I guess. Okay. 
All right, well, that'll do it for this one. Uh, a little bit disappointing that I just missed that status effect there. Um, forgot the interaction, but what can you do? Sometimes you lose runs like that. Um, glad I at least managed to make it to the boss. Didn't Haven't completely forgotten how to play this game, so that'll do it for this run. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider liking, subscribing, doing all that good YouTube stuff. Helps me out. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I certainly had fun, and I'll see you in the next video.